Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marcus Aurelius, and this is Mountain Blade Warband Anno 1257. And we are still at the Siege of Trebizond. We're actually doing quite well. We've taken out about almost 400 of them, and we've lost about 500 of our guys. So pretty decent odds for a castle assault. What I learned here is that the enemy, apparently, their units spawn up at the top of this tower. Or at least that's where some of them spawn. So I've been able to get behind them. Looks like all of my warriors have been beaten back, though. There is a group of reinforcements coming. And it looks like the enemies might have got around them. Maybe they come out of both towers. Not entirely sure, but here I am, and I'm ahead of the battle. I'm kind of useless in terms of the actual... Where? Okay, so maybe it's this tower that they spawn from. Yeah, they spawn up here. So this is the first time in a siege of this type I've been able to stop them here. So I've been thinking, my health is really poor, and I tend to be very poor against archers. But I was thinking, just to make things interesting, let's try to do some Rambo action on the archers, just to kind of whittle them out. There are quite a few of them, and a point-blank javelin or arrow or crossbow will ruin my day quite a bit, as will the sun being in my eyes here. Nope, oh, and I can see them shooting at me already. So, you need to be very careful. But if I could just clear that first tower, that would be really helpful. Okay. So it all depends on fortune. Okay, good start. I can come in here if I ever need defense. There's a few more guys up here. Hello. Dang it. Dang it again. Okay, so this tower is clear. Let's just be very, very quiet. Very quiet. Oh, shoot. See, here's when things can go bad. That javelin guy up there. One hit, and it's toast for me. And he'll never run out of javelins. Dang it. Come on, come on. In the hole. All right. So that's going to be the problem. If I lower my shield to attack the ranged guys on the wall, then the guys in the towers will take advantage of that and shoot me. Otherwise, I could provide some assistance. Now, if we have another group of reinforcements that comes along and their attention is distracted by them, I might be able to do something. Oh, look at you! Sneaky, sneaky! Good thing I have radar. <laughs> the Greek, Greek radar. <laughs> we're doing okay. I mean, we're doing pretty okay. We've taken out now 450. If you recall, they have about, what, 700, was it? We've lost about 560. Once these reinforcement guys come up on the wall, they may distract the archers long enough for me to go in there and start doing some Rambo business, but I have to be careful. And if I can clear the entire tower, that would be amazing. It looks like they haven't yet got around my troops guarding the passage, though they're few in number at this point from the radar map. So... All right, here they come. Looks like one of the enemies got around them. That's very strange. Come on, guys. It's just one guy. All right, they got him. Now they're going to be coming up. All right, here we go. It's now or never. It's time to be... Amazing. Oh, nope, nope. We don't want him behind us. 
Oh. Didn't mean to do that, but it helped. These are armored archers. They're not bad. And now they know I'm here. Well, that guy doesn't. This is the last gasp of the Ilkhanate. Well, not really. They're, they're off the map. But on this map, this is their last gasp. Oh. Careful, Marcus. Don't get cocky. Okay. Excellent. So we've cleared the bottom part of the tower. Now we just have to get the top. Oh, no, you don't. Ah, oh, shoot! I need to get close enough so that they want to use their physical weapons and not their archery. Use your range, Marcus. Ah! Oh! Whoa! Oh! oh. There we go. Hit him! Oh, this is tense. Oh, man, I'm down to, like, nothing. Oh, hello. We got a brave one here. Oh, hello. Okay, they're hitting me through the walls. That's exciting. All right, so we've got ourselves a problem here. Oh! Yeah, we have a bigger problem now. Come on, cowards. Face me. Alright. Boom. Oh. Careful. Oh. Oh, whoa. That could have went bad. Alright, dude. Stop being so aggro. No, you don't. Boom! Marcus Aurelius, special forces. Look at me, just clearing this entire breach. All right, men, you are free to proceed. Yeah, they're pumped. This tower used to belong to the enemy, but now it belongs to Marcus Aurelius. And I'm going to stay here because there's not much else I can do. My reinforcements are coming. They're still being spawned in that tower, which is rather strange. It would make more sense than to spawn in the courtyard, but... Oh well, we are almost at 600 down, which leaves us with 150. At this point, though, without the arrow component and the javelins especially raining down on my men, we really only have to face them on our own terms, which is melee, which we are incredibly good at, since we're heavily armored. Honestly... Taking cars was a lot harder than this. Cars was just brutal. Brutal. Even the second time, when we heavily outnumbered them, it was just... It was a rout. Marcus is very pleased with himself. He has taken the entire east for the Byzantine Empire, the Roman Empire, and now... Now he wants to retire. Now that we have enemies only in one direction, he wants another marshal to take over for a while so that he can put some effort into his lands. I learned a couple things. Jerusalem is actually being guarded by its citizens, so they don't hate me. And it took them a while, but they finally have it up to about 500 men. It cost me about 5,000 to maintain. They do not pay for the maintenance. I have to do that. But I heard it was inflated and got up as high as like 15,000. It hasn't. So that's pretty good. I haven't had a trouble with money at all recently. My income is still really bad. I'm at like negative 20,000 a week. But I've been able to sell enough prisoners and goods from my manor and ransom enough lords to make up for that. Now, there definitely I need to find a way to fix that. The only two ways I can think of really are to buy more businesses, which frankly I should have done in all these cities that I conquered down south. And now I can't because they all hate me. 
because I had to take over the garrison for all of them to make sure that they had a garrison in the first place. So that was a bad, bad plan. I should have thought through that one. But that's one way. Another way is to basically get gifted a bunch of villages by the Emperor, and hopefully villages in the east. I've been conquering so many towns and castles that he hasn't given away any of the villages yet. They just keep getting re I guess. And if I can get a couple of those, and they're in a faraway place that nobody ever sacks, they're worth about a thousand a week. So if I can get like five of them, that would certainly put me in a good position financially. I could reduce the garrisons of Constantinople and, well probably not Constantinople being as it's my capital and that's where my wife is, but Jerusalem of course is fine. I can reduce the garrison of Ankara and Sardis and I can spend all my time up around Soklos and Verbazna so I can make sure that their garrisons are low as well because I'll be there physically to supplement them. And that should finally get me, I would never say in the black because I don't think I'll ever ever be making money in this game, but at least in a beneficial position. We've taken out 616 of them and 23 wounded. And I think that's it. I think that's all they've got because they're down to 45 and usually they would get reinforcements by now. And it doesn't appear that they are. So let's join the men. I would normally jump off the wall but I don't even know if I'll survive that with the amount of hit points that I have left. This has been a very exciting campaign so far. And I noticed that as soon as I got away from Egypt, strangely enough, the crashing doesn't happen. Something about Egypt just makes the crashing very common. I mean, it's, it's crashed a couple times, but only after like hours of playing when you would kind of expect something to happen. And watch, now that I say that, as soon as this battle's over, it'll crash. Yeah, I really wish... I mean, come on, there's arrows everywhere. Why can't I just pick up some arrows to help my men? Where is this guy? Is he up here? There he is. Excuse me, sir. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get out of there. Get out of there! Ooh, careful, Marcus. Don't let the window guy kill you. There we go. And off you go. Alright. Looks like we've done it. Whoever that one guy is, he's really putting up a fight. Well, not anymore. And the city is ours. Rick went down. Garrett, Oss Saint, well everybody. Dave, Danny Boy, Annie Scamp, Martin Peterson, Arcade Knight, and Eli Odom. We didn't lose enough guys for the support guys to come in. We did lose two Georgian Lancers, a senior knight, a bandit, which I don't care about, and a hosp oh, hospitaler. Yikes. But it's a sergeant, not a real hospitaler knight. So we only lost five guys at the end of the day to take that whole city. And all of the Stratty guy. Or Stratty Goy, I'm sorry. Someone told me how to pronounce that correctly. All of the Stratty Goy fell. Wow, so many of them. But at the end of the day, we took out 662 and 23 wounded. Oh, but we breached the town walls, but the defenders continue to resist. Well, I'm half dead, so hopefully I won't have to fight them myself. Oh, I've got about 20 of my friends here to help me out, so not too worried about it. Okay, where are we going, guys? Where's the enemy? I Looks like you're running into a wall to me. Is he up on the wall? What in the world? Alright guys. Follow me. Let's go kill this guy. It's probably... The leader, Komemnos, Manuel Komemnos. Who's devised an ingenious hiding place. Come on, guys. 
Up here. Up and at him. Please don't make me do this by myself. Yep, yeah, you you're getting it. No. Ah. All right. Let's try this by stages. Everyone, go here. Come on, you can do this. You can do this, guys. Uh, okay. Well, I don't know. If I get killed, will I take over one of my men, or will that just be the end? Guess we'll find out. Oh, I have got restored a little bit. I'm about half health. Really? Is he in there? They're making me run all the way around? Are you serious? That is... That is kind of aggravating, actually. Once again, I mentioned in the last video I'm still a little sick, so I apologize if I'm a bit nasal. It's not like my voice is super beautiful as it is anyway, but I do apologize for any any annoying gratingness high-pitched in it. All this talking's actually caused my throat to hurt a little bit. Guess I'm not as better as I thought I was. That's a shame, because I have a bit more recording to do today. All right. All right, you. Are you in here? No. What? Is there anything in here? No. But I can... Oh, I, of course I have more arrows anyway. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> what am I thinking? All right. Oh, there he is. Okay, nope. Bad move. Oh, Manuel! That was pathetic. All that? All that build-up? Oh. <laughs> You've just been a realist. And he, he escaped? How, pray tell? How, pray tell, when he was lying unconscious at my feet, did he manage to escape? Stratigos Anton, whom I don't even know. I'm happy I saved you, sir. Yeah, look at my purple. I'm sure you all know this, but purple is the color of emperors. I'm making a statement. All right. Well, this part is really boring, so I'm going to stop the recording during this, and I'll come back after it's done. All right, folks, I'm back. The castle has been conquered. I just thought I would come back because this is pretty funny. They were having a tournament. I assaulted their castle in the middle of their tournament, and I can supposedly join it. So I've never done this before. Let's uh, let's see what happens. Will I just be fighting my own oi -ke oi I don't know. One-on-one. -on -one. Yep. This is just basically a free video, guys. It's me fighting my own oi -ke oi in a tournament and making some money. Or maybe not. I've trained them so well, maybe they'll rock me. We'll see. First, we have Rick Khan, resplendent in his Byzantine armor. I gave him my old armor. Didn't do him much good, unfortunately. Sorry, Rick. Next, we have Garrett Valkering. He also was wearing Byzantine armor that I was able to purchase for him at the low, low cost of 10,000, which I thought was pretty decent for its level of protection. His helmet is not Greek, but functional, and pretty strong, normally, when he's not fighting Marcus Aurelius. Next, we have Ost Saint. I love it how they're using my standard on their flags. That makes me really happy. There goes Ost's barded horse. Where are you? You have a Spangen Helm or whatever. That actually is pretty good. And you are wearing Greek armor, though it's not 
the typical Byzantine armor. I'm not sure what it is. Next, Dave, none your business. Here's Dave. I believe he's wearing Mamluk armor. If not Mamluk, then Mongol. Yeah, maybe Mongol Lemelar. And I apologize to all of you for knocking you out. Next, we have the Danny Boy. So we're not going to get to see everyone, unfortunately, because I have more Okayoi than there are slots in this tournament. I'm not even sure what Danny Boy's wearing. It's what he got from battles. I'll get him in some Byzantine armor soon. Oh, and if you notice, I keep changing horses. The reason for that is, the game has a bug that if you have a heavy warhorse, like I do, and then it gets knocked out in a battle, it turns into a lame warhorse, and then when you fix it, it turns into a regular warhorse. So all that money goes away. It basically loses a level of strength. So I've learned now to get off the damn horse when it's about ready to get knocked out and just walk because as long as it stays alive it'll be fine otherwise you lose tons of money in horsepower <laughs> horsepower next we have anti-scamp it's a nice little beard goatee well it's a beard but it's this weird little i don't know penis thing coming out of the bottom of your neck I, whatever and they're all wearing let me just be honest they're all wearing good armor so oh i gave anti-scamp a new horse it's this orange horse with like a little unicorn horn thing on it it's really interesting I gave them all good armor. They're not all Byzantine armor, but it's all the same level of protection, like 63 to 64. Oh, there goes your unicorn. I took out your unicorn. Now what are you going to do? Yeah, the saber is not that long, unfortunately. All right, and our final battle, Martin D. Peterson with his lovely locks here and he's wearing looks like byzantine cavalry armor and what do you have you have one of those armenian or hungarian cataphracts oh no you know what you're wearing i think you're wearing armenian armor or georgian armor either way all right well i apologize my oikoi for beating them up but i did get to showcase them a bit and i did make 11,500 dinar, which will certainly do well. It'll pay for at least half of my weekly deficit. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Marcus Aurelius. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.